Yeah, we back. Now, today we got a very interesting video, and I think it's going to be a decent follow-up video to the one I dropped earlier in the day, entitled, Everyone Was Mad at Kevin Samuels, But Nobody Says Anything About Cynthia G. And in that video, I basically spoke about how there are too many content creators or public figures in the media who should not have a microphone, who should not be on a stage, who should not have an audience. Many of these people need to be sitting on a therapist's couch. They need to be sorting out their emotional and psychological issues and not entertaining an audience. Now, let's get into it. As per usual, I'm surfing through YouTube, checking out the front page, and the YouTube algorithm, the gift that keeps on giving. They recommend me this video by a gentleman who goes by the name, The Angry Biracial. And the video was entitled, Black Men Hate When Biracial Men Love Black Women. So I'm sitting back like, man, what the hell is this dude talking about? So I click the video, and then I start moving around his channel. And just like I expected, on one of his videos, he gives a brief account of his life story. He said that his father was a pimp, his mother was a streetwalker, and somewhere during his childhood, he ended up in the foster care system. And that goes back to what I said earlier in the day in my video entitled, Everybody's mad at Kevin Samuels, but nobody says anything about Cynthia G. A lot of the people pushing this function on social media, these are people who come from traumatized backgrounds, dysfunctional backgrounds. They're carrying a lot of baggage, a lot of emotional pain, a lot of emotional and psychological scars. And instead of getting on a therapist's couch, they decide to go buy a microphone and create a YouTube channel. And instead of sorting out their issues, they gather around a crowd, they gather up an audience who also shares similar emotional traumas psychological scarring and they all trauma bond together in this big circle of pain now in this case we can clearly understand why he holds so much resentment towards black men his father was a deadbeat his father was a pimp had his mom walking the streets and just so y'all know he's not the typical biracial he's not a white european and a black biracial no he is half black and half arab right the one group of men who dislike black men more than the europeans it's crazy but anyways i'm about to play some clips from his channel so we can sit back and just grab some popcorn and laugh but i scan through his channel and i can easily understand this dude's whole entire beef when it comes to black men not only was his father a deadbeat but you could tell growing up the brothers didn't really accept him as one of us man you could tell he still hold a resentment from his childhood because we never really saw him as a black man you know it is what it is you could tell he's still carrying that chip on his shoulder because he was never really seen as one of the brothers and you can tell he got a chip on his shoulder just by looking at the titles of some of the videos on his youtube channel check it out you got one video that's entitled florida dusty unalived pregnant girlfriend black men have replaced white men in being the devil black man terminates pregnant asian wife you can't call yourself an alpha when your women are unprotected black men hate when biracial men love black women modern black women are the result of black men's infidelity i wish i had a black mother instead of a black father now let's jump into the clip man as you know i'm gonna come back with my comment tip let's go so i'm making tiktok yo i'm gonna do this last one and then i'm gonna go to bed <clears throat> yo ever since you know, on my channel, I started, you know, defending black women. I got a lot of butthurt and insecure, dark-skinned dudes that be trying to stitch my content. They all say the same shit. They're saying, oh, it's always some biracial, light-skinned guy like him that has no ties to our history. And no ties to, to our history? You the same dudes that are running to, to white women, that, that are running to Asian women, run to other countries to create biracials. Are those kids not going to have any ties to black history either? Let me tell you something about the black history that, you know, that I have ties to. My father's last name is Tuggle. You know, I'm tied to the Tuggle family, a big free slave family that's big in Mississippi and the South. The Tuggles are everywhere. You know, I researched it. I paid a lot of money to get my whole background done on that side. Well, they were owned by a William Tuggle, a huge plantation in West Virginia. You know, my family, my direct family. We're, we're, we're slaves. I'm tied to that just, to, just as your dark skin ass is. My biracial ass is still tied to it. You wonder why? Because an idiot like you slept outside their race and made someone like me. So I'm just as tied to it. You know? The, the blood of slaves runs through my veins too. I'm just as tied to that damn history. You, you, you act like I ain't had no interactions w w with police. That a cop ain't put a gun to my head and told me he can shoot my black ass r r right now. You act like I ain't never had racial slurs called at me. I ain't never, people, you act like people have never told me to go back to Africa. And never drove by and called me the N-word. The fuck out of here. And you act like... 
And, and you act like Black History Month is not filled with biracial and mixed race people like me. Get it out of here with it. I get so tired of this same insecure, stupid fucking argument that, that all you dark skin insecure dudes have. You don't like what I'm saying? Cool. You don't have to like what I'm saying. But to come on here and say, oh, he's not tied to our history or our culture. Yeah, you're the same motherfuckers that want to run off and make more people like me. You know? Get out of here with that. If it can't come with a valid argument against the shit I'm saying, can't some with something act without something actual, without getting all in your emotions and what we gonna say, oh well, you're biracial, so this, please. My experience in America is almost the same as your experience in America. You know, you act like if slavery came today, that, that, that my half black ass wouldn't be in the same boat with you. You act like there wasn't biracial and mixed race slaves. You act like biracial and mixed race people haven't been on the forefront of the civil rights movement since the beginning. I can go on and on and on and on. So, so look, find an actual argument. If not, shut the fuck up. All right, we back. Now you could tell the homie got a chip on his shoulder because immediately he starts out the video taking shots at the dark skinned brothers. Now I'm not even a dark skinned brother. I'm a brown skinned brother. But the first thing I ask myself is, man, what's the beef? What's the beef? And for those of us with any emotional intelligence or any level of intellect, we could tell that because he never really got the acceptance and camaraderie from the brothers. Now he's trying to, you know what I'm saying? Now he's trying to get it from the sisters. It is what it is, man. We can see the game, bro. We can see the game. Hey, get the ad money, bro. Get the YouTube ad money, man. Run it up. Get your channel. Get your channel popping. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing. I'm a capitalist myself, so I could see I could see the game that you're playing. I could see the game that you're running. It is what it is. Now, first thing, I want to say this. When it comes to the biracials, it's a case-by-case -case basis, right? You can't assume every biracial is going to be, you know, down for the team. And you can't just assume every biracial is just down with the Europeans or the Arabs or whatever the other side of the family is. It's a case-by-case -case basis. You're going to have some biracials that equally got love for both sides. Even this guy right here. I just took a quick glance at the comments in the video and look what I found. This dude said, I'm half Arab. I love my Arab side just as much as my black side. Now, first of all, why would we accept you as a black man when you don't even see yourself as a black man? I don't know a single black man that got an Arab side. And that's why I say it's a case by case basis. I'm not saying biracials need to denounce their entire side of the family, but I'm just saying this, bro. If a biracial man acknowledges himself as a black man and that's what it is and that's what he's standing on, then he's going to be accepted as a black man. Really, it's all about mentality. Really, it's all about the spirit. And to be honest, the reason why he was most likely never accepted is because everybody could probably detect the adversarial energy coming up off you. Even when you listen to him speak, even in the titles of his videos, he refers to black men as another group of men. He never refers to black men as me, my group, my brothers, my collective. If you notice on my videos, when I speak about black men, I'm talking about us. And that includes me. I never speak about black men like they're a group of men far away over there that I'm talking about that doesn't include me. And perhaps that's something he does on a subconscious level because subconsciously he doesn't recognize himself as a black man. And y'all know me, man. I got a whole entire catalog of videos about the Haitian Revolution, man. During the Haitian Revolution, it was so many of these biracials with this mentality running around. This shit goes way back. This shit goes deep. There's always been these biracials who never really seen them as one with the black man. They always seen themselves as a different group. But that's why I say it's a case by case basis. What this guy is doing right here is he sees a hole in the market. He sees an opportunity in the market that he's ready to capitalize on. He understands that the market surrounding slandering black men, disrespecting black men, spreading negative propaganda about black men. That's an entire market. That's an entire niche on social media. A niche that is very profitable, a niche that drives traffic and engagement, a niche that you can build an audience on that you can sell products and services to. Trust me, bro. I'm a capitalist. I see what it is. I see the game. I see the play. This dude got no love for black women. He didn't even come out the womb of a black woman. You don't have no relation to black women. Fall back, my dude. Fall back. The only black woman in your family tree is maybe your paternal grandmother. But your father was a deadbeat, so I guarantee you never met her. So stop acting like you know what black women is about and you know what black women. <laughs> stop it, bro. Stop the game. Stop the hustle, bro. And you can tell he suffers from acceptance because he's saying a bunch of nonsense to try to validate his blackness. Like, man, listen, I did my genealogy back in 1825, man. My great grandfather was on a plantation of William Tuggle. I'm a real black man. He says that out the side of his mouth. But then at the same time, he's trying to tap into that anti-black male propaganda market on social media. Man, you see, <laughs> you see, you see why black men have always looked at the biracials under a magnifying glass. You know, you got to watch. Them. You know, you got to watch them boys, man. You got to watch. <laughs> Gotta watch him. 
One minute he's talking about I'm a black man and the next minute he's talking about y'all black men. So you see, that's that that's that double-minded schizophrenic biracial talk. <laughs> And to be honest, I understand that he's carrying a lot of trauma from the fact that his father was a deadbeat who never took care of him. But he has to understand when he says that black men go around creating the biracials. Listen, man, the majority of black men in the Western Hemisphere, they can trace their lineage back to a European male ancestor. I forget the exact scientific term. Y'all can get up in the comment section and tell me what it is. I don't want to say the wrong thing. But yeah, the majority of multiracial people in the Western Hemisphere were not created by black men and white women. Okay. Like I said in the previous video, this guy is carrying a lot of baggage. Now me, I don't be dating outside my race. I don't be, you know, mixing and mingling and dipping and dabbing outside the race like that. So I don't take a personal when he takes shots as it pertains to dudes dating outside their race. But I think he's mixing up different demographics because the guys that date outside their race, they're not really the ones that's gatekeeping anything. The brothers that date outside the race, they're not worried about you by racials, bro. Trust me, they don't care about these discussions. It's the brothers like me. It's the brothers like me that might get on top of your head. But the average brother dating his white chick, he's not gonna press you because you by racial. He's not gonna talk about you because you by racial. Now, when it comes to me, I have the liberty to call you out because I can see you're trying to cash in on the anti-black male propaganda machine. And me, I don't date outside my race. And I actually got black women in my family, unlike you. Black women are a foreign entity to you. You're not related to them. You don't got any in your family. Bro, sit down, pump the brakes. You see how he broke into character and you see how passionate he sounded. But then he has another video on his channel entitled, I wish I had a black mother and not a black father. So at the end of the day, bro, that's why we got to watch these biracial sometimes, man. Because if you were a real black man who really had love for your alleged ancestors that were enslaved on the William Tuggle plantation, you would have admiration for your black male ancestors. You would have admiration for your fellow black brothers. But because deep down, you never really seen yourself as a black man. Deep down, you know you a half a rap. Deep down, you know you're not really part of the team like that. Going back to what I said earlier, I don't know any black man that has an a rap side, let alone an a rap side that he loves. So at the end of the day, bro, you're your own entity. You're in your own category. And I think this video is the perfect follow up video to the one I dropped earlier because it exemplifies the fact that a lot of these people that you see on social media, they got a lot of trauma, a lot of pain, a lot of baggage. They need to be sitting on a therapist's couch and not sitting up on social media trying to put out content. This is a biracial man, half black, half Arab. His father was a pimp. His mother was a streetwalker. He ended up in a foster care system. He's carrying a lot of childhood trauma and pain due to his black father. And he most likely never had any male role models, let alone any black male role models to teach him what it is and what it means to be a black man. And now he finally found the acceptance that he was looking for since a child. He found it on YouTube and he found it by denigrating the black male image, even though he claims to be a black man who's really a biracial Arab. And for those of you guys who are students of history, just like me, then I'm sure you understand what the history has been between a black man and an Arab man. Sometimes you got to go deeper than just surface level, right? He's a biracial, so he's half and half. And think about this. His father was most likely not a hundred percent pure blood black African man. His father, like most of us in the diaspora, especially North America, was most likely somewhere between 70 to 85% black African. And the remaining percentages most likely going to either European DNA or Native American DNA, which means that at most, he is probably 40% black man, 30, 35% black man. And I'm not even gonna address the fact that he associated blackness with all the negative experiences that come with being in America, right? He tried to validate his blackness by being insulted, being told to go back to Africa, being stopped by the police, being harassed in the streets. That's not what being a black man is about. Being a black man is not about living a miserable existence. He tried to validate himself by saying all this nonsense. Man, if I get spotted by the cops and they told me to go back to Africa and they called me the N-word, bro, that, that got nothing to do with being a black man. That's just some nonsense you saw on TV. You watch too much CNN, my dude. And how come when biracials talk about their history, they never bring up any of the negative aspects? How come he never talks about how the biracial Arabs back in Africa was waging jihad on the black man back in the day? These dudes act like biracials were on the front lines, man. Stop it, bro. Stop it. It was the black man on the front line. The black man with a black father and a black mother. That's who always been on the front line. That's who always gonna be on the front line. That's the only man who's ever eligible to be on the front line. Period. Point blank. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, bro. If you ain't got a black father and a black mother, nigga, Ain't no front line, nigga. Step in the back, nigga. You can play a supportive role. You can play a complimentary role. But in terms of who is going to be in the position of leadership and who has always been in the position of leadership, that's the black man with the black mother and the black father. Period. Point blank. And many times throughout history, multiple times, going back thousands of years, the black man with the black mother and the black father has had to defend himself militaristically against the black man, quote unquote, with double allegiances. But anyways, man, I'm not going to make this video too long. 
this guy is a comedy show this guy is a wreck this guy needs to sit on a therapist couch and stop making youtube videos but it is what it is i understand that he's probably gonna blow up because there's an audience for what he's pushing out to the market now i don't think he's gonna go very far because he has a terrible stutter and you can tell that his energy and his aura is not authentic right He's trying to tap into the anti-black male propaganda market, but we can tell that your aura is not authentic. We can tell you don't really be around black women like that. You don't be around black men like that. And the majority of your DNA makeup is Arab and European. So how are you a black man? How are you a black man when your father was not a pure blood black man? So at most, he only gave you what, 30%? black dna at most 35 percent. the rest most likely european and then the rest a rap at a 50 percent clip bro you are a grifter you are a grifter and i gotta call out the grifters it's too many grifters on social media and you know on my channel we're gonna call it out so anyways man it's your boy never card that's elaine back in the building yes indeed and i'm gone peace reincarnated i'm back in original fashion i left on a horse and came back in that ass and i left with abundance and came back to famine we used to be pyramids now we be rapping look how the mighty have fallen used to be running now we be walking when you be cooning that's when they applauded selling your soul your sons and your daughter gotta come up in this shit they stuck in the mix really my heart to be breaking that's why i'm stacking that paper and handle my business pass it down in generation talking about money and power and building a nation that's a deadly combination never be watching the tv they pushing the genders falsifying information now they got Malice intentions, step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. Get for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and making ambition. I'm blessed by the guys, but I ain't religious. I can't for the power, they can't for the bitch. They make a no hour with it, wedge. I got business. This shit is an art, and they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play with my money, I see you in court. Run to the check. And I do it for sport Babylon falling I go to the source Packing my luggage And go overseas Shorty be with me And she so at least Shorty be chosen I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence Probably gonna murder me Don't fuck with brands Cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit And you're smacking their faces